It's Ingve time. Again. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in action, and highly requested from you is the riff from Ship of Fools. Now, I did the little intro lick a couple weeks ago, and a lot of you guys wanted to know what that riff was I played after, and that's just the riff that follows Ship of Fools. So we're going to break it down. I'm going to show it to you. It's a really fun and just cool Ingbe lick. It's all out of A minor. And before we get into it, if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. There's like 80% of you who watch this video who are not subscribed. So here's the riff. We're all the way down here. I think he plays it down here. Um, I see some people play it up here. To me, it sounds like he's down here. Real heavy palm muting, tuned down a half step. So it starts out with an open A string. And remember, we're coming out of that pedal tone section where he goes... And, then, and it goes right into this, just one of the best power metal neoclassical riffs ever. So let's work on getting that first section of it down first. So open A string. Now everything else is very palm muted and very just staccato-y. You don't want the notes ringing out. And it's this little, um, kind of like from Diary of a Madman is what it reminds me of. I'm gonna play fifth fret on the G and I'm pedaling back to second fret on the D. So I'm going back to that E note each time. And then I go to fourth fret on the G, back to that second fret on the D, second fret on the G to second fret on the D. So, and walk it back up, four, two, five, two. So. Now for picking, uh, I'm doing a lot of palm muting, and Ingve might be starting with an up. I'm sorry, starting with a down, like that. I like the outside picking, so I'm starting with an up, and I go up, down, up, down. Then he adds this little section here that is not palm muted. You're gonna go two, four, five, again on the G, and you go to third fret on the D. Now, a lot of these single accented notes, he adds a very aggressive kind of vibrato to it, so. I butchered it there for just a second, hold on. So after that fifth fret, we go back to that second fret on the D, palm mute it, and then it's two, four, five, and then the accented third fret on the D. All right. Now it starts over and almost does the exact same thing. So. So we're gonna go second fret on the D to fifth fret on the G, back to second fret, fourth fret, second fret, second fret. And he adds a different note at this time around. So you have, you're adding that third fret on the B all of a sudden. So second fret on the D, third fret right there. So. All right, so after that third fret, you go back to second fret, then you go fifth fret on the G, Back to two on the D, fourth fret. A little bit confusing. Look at the tabs for this. Okay. Then you're going to go four, five, four, two on the G. So you got. It starts over again. So it does almost the exact same thing again. Okay, and then you walk that back up, two, four, five, but it changes the ending here. You're gonna go fourth fret on the D, big vibrato, big aggression. Third fret, and then second fret. So all that real nice and slow, like I said, reference the tabs if it's confusing, because it's there's a lot going on in just a short little you know, period of time. And there you guys have it. That is the main riff to Ship of Fools. You got the intro, you got the main riff. The other parts are kind of just chord. <laughs> And so on. So if you guys would hit the subscribe button, 
come hang out some more, more guitar lessons, get the tabs, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. End it bluesy in an Ingve style. <laughs>